Service-based businesses often rely on their website to attract new customers for them. More often than not, they tend to find that that doesn't work. You may have got yourself a brand new website or built the website yourself and it just isn't bringing in the amount of customers that you hoped it would. Now, if that is the case, you're gonna find this video really useful because we're gonna be uncovering the five most common things that I see within the industry that is stopping your ideal customer from visiting your site and then actually getting in contact and choosing to do business with you. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Tristan and I help service-based businesses get online and also help them be discovered by way of Google search so they can attract that ideal customer. And so if you are struggling with your site at the moment, stick around to the end of this video and I'll give you actionable steps that you can take to actually go and improve your website to actually increase the chances of you acquiring new customers through your website. Let's go. All right, so the first must have that we're gonna talk about for your service-based business website is being transparent. In the grand library of business, okay, you wanna be an open book. You don't wanna be some mystery novel that is left with a bunch of unanswered questions. If you are fully transparent, it's honestly the cornerstone of building trust. By you being able to build the level of trust that you need is going to increase your chances of acquiring them as a new customer. And that's ultimately what you want your website to do, no doubt. The first way that you can be transparent is by sharing your story. Not only will this allow you to stand out from the competition, but it's gonna give you a real opportunity to share what it is that you are all about. Now I've seen time and time again, a lot of businesses try and be something that they are not, trying to appear bigger than they actually are. If you're a small business and you don't like that, I just wanna say that there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, being a small Small business can work in your favor. It allows you to be much more intimate with your customers and your customers are going to prefer that. So the second way that you can be transparent, if we are talking in the analogy of a book here, you share your chapters, okay? Share your process. What is it that you do from end to end to get the result that you are offering to your customers? By being transparent with your end to end process, it's not only going to excite your ideal customer, but it's actually gonna allow you to set the expectations needed for if they were to work with you. And no doubt it will be your process, which is actually what sets you apart from the rest of your competition and allows you to be unique and stand out. Now as a service-based business, another way that you should be transparent is by sharing your price list. Time and time again, I see a lot of service-based businesses hiding their pricing behind a sales call or something like that. Don't do that. So think about this. Someone is needing what it is that you offer and they are in the research stage and price is a main factor as to whether they're gonna buy with a business or not. Three of your competitors have shown a pricing on their website and you haven't, you are not going to get an inquiry, okay? If they are in that research stage, and they wanna know what it's gonna cost them roughly, you're never gonna stand a chance if you're not showcasing your price, which is why it really does help to share your price. Now, if you don't have a fixed price service, that's fine, just use price ranges to give people a ballpark so they know what to expect when contacting you and they know what to expect if they were to work with you in terms of price. All right, so the next website must have for a service-based business is having a portfolio on your website. Now, time and time again, I've seen countless service-based businesses not include a portfolio on their site. Now, imagine that you've walked into a bakery and all of their shelves are empty. I mean, you've been told that they sell great cakes, but you can't physically see any for yourself because they have them all stored out the back, okay? That's exactly what it would be like for someone visiting your website and not being able to see the great work that you do. So you don't wanna be this secret bakery. You wanna be able to showcase your results and bring your business to life through the achievements that you have achieved for other clients. For example, if you are a gym, a personal trainer, an aesthetics doctor. Okay, you have a opportunity here to showcase uh, transformations before and afters. Or if you're not a visual type business where you can't do any of these things, then just have a case study on your site that talks about how you've helped your ideal client. Doing any of these things will just end the guessing game that people have to go through when they visit your site and can't visually see what it is that you do. If you don't have a portfolio and your website is still that empty shelf of the bakery, I'd recommend that you make your main task this week to pull together all of the work that you have done to help your ideal client and showcase that on your website and build yourself a portfolio. So the next website must have for your service-based business is explaining how you are different. Now I know this sounds cliche, but I want you to think about this example. Imagine that you're walking down the supermarket aisle looking for a can of soup and all of the cans look and feel the same and all say the same thing, okay? You're not really gonna be drawn to any of them and perhaps feel overwhelmed and not even pick up any soup at all. However, if there is one can of soup that tells you that it boasts a brand new flavor, 
it has great taste or even just a nice story about how the soup company was made or how the soup has been made, you are probably gonna be drawn to that more than any of the others that are on the shelf. Think about this with your business. Make sure that you're explaining on your website how it is that you are different. Do not be that plain can of soup down the shopping aisle that people are just not drawn towards. Be the one that stands out, be different. Another must have for your service-based business website is having a clear call to action. Now you may already have this on your website, but I want you to ask yourself, is it clear enough. Now, if you don't know what a call to action is, it's essentially just a part of your website where you are asking someone to take action. So what is it that they need to do next in order to progress to the next step? Imagine that you're going on holiday to a foreign country and you've just landed in an airport. Everything feels unfamiliar and you have no idea where you need to go. Now in an airport, the best thing that you can do is look for signage to figure out whether you need to go to baggage or where the taxi rank is, or where your transfers are perhaps picking you up. You would not be able to do this if there was no signage. Now consider that when thinking about your website. Nine times out of 10, a visitor that visits your site have perhaps never been there before, or they don't know it as well as you do. So you need to be super clear with what it is that you want them to do next when in order to work with you. So is it getting in touch via a phone number? Is it sending an email? Is it, is it using an online contact form so that sends you an email? Is it booking a call directly with a scheduling tool? Whatever it is, you need to make that obviously clear on your website. So similar to the airport, you can create this clear signage on your website by using text, by using titles, by using buttons, by using pointy arrows. There's just a few things that you can do in order to make your call to action clear. Tell them really clearly what steps you want them to take next. You'll be surprised how many people visit a website that does already have a call to action, but because the call to action wasn't clear enough, people don't take that next step and they leave. Be really specific with what action you want the person to take in order to get them to work with you. If your ideal customer is on your site and they wanna take the next step, just spell it out for them. But what I recommend you do, take a moment, visit your website, try your best to imagine yourself as a first time visitor or someone that doesn't know your business. Okay, it is hard because you know your business best. Maybe you can ask someone else to do this task for you, but try to put yourself in their position and see whether the next step, the call to action is clear enough. If it's not, fix it. Another must have for your service-based business website is proof of concept. Okay, so can you walk the talk? Remember people are typically skeptical, especially if they haven't come across you or your business before. So they're gonna be questioning, can you actually do what it is that you say that you can do? And the best way that you can answer this skepticism and these concerns that your potential customer might have is by way of proof of concept. Now there are a couple ways that you can increase trust by way of proof of concept on your website. First one being use of reviews. So you can use something like Google reviews, ask all of your past customers to leave you a review, and you can showcase the series of positive reviews that you have from happy customers that have worked with you, and that will show other potential new interested customers that what you say you can do, you can actually do. So another way that you can increase proof of concept on your website is by way of testimonials. By simply having a short paragraph from a previous customer highlighting what it was like working with you and how happy they are with their result, that's gonna go a long way with building that trust with that new potential customer. A few other ways to add proof of concept can be by way of case studies and also logos of businesses that you have worked with. So if you are a B2B service-based business, having recognizable logos from your past clients will really help new visitors coming to the site see that you've worked with some big brands and so you must be legit. The reason why this is important is the market is full of people claiming that they are the best and they can deliver the best results. The best way that you can actually do this is by having proof of concept and sharing the results and the experiences from your clients firsthand. Having them directly speak highly of you is going to be the best way that you can encourage new customers to believe that you are the best, to build that trust that is needed for them to maybe take the next step and use your calls to action and get in touch with you. There you have it. Okay, there are five things you can go away and look at your own website to see whether you are subject to any of these, whether you are falling victim to any one of these five things that are stopping you from acquiring the new customers that you wish that your website would. Now, if you are stuck with any of these five things that I've shared with you today, okay, I do encourage you to use a link down below in the description and you can visit our agency website, maybe book a call, we can have a conversation and see if there's anything that we can do to help your website get to the place that it needs to be to actually start acquiring customers. Now I wanna say thank you for watching, really appreciate it. If you found it valuable, hit the like button and also I will see you guys in the next video, bye.